The Mandarin Duck, Xcale Ricolata, is a medium-sized perching duck that is native to East Asia, including China, Japan, and Korea. It is also known as the Chinese duck or the Japanese duck. The male Mandarin duck is known for its striking plumage, which includes a bright red face, purple-blue breast, and green and blue wing feathers. The female is a less colorful, with a reddish-brown head and a gray-brown body. Mandarin ducks typically live in wooded areas near water, such as forests, swamps, and marshes. They are omnivorous, feeding on a variety of plant and animal matter such as seeds, fruits, insects, and small fish. They are strong swimmers and divers, and can be found both in freshwater and saltwater habitats. Mandarin ducks form monogamous pairs during breeding season, which typically takes place between March and May. The male performs elaborate courtship displays to attract a mate, such as shaking his head, preening his feathers, and calling loudly. The female lays a clutch of 8 to 12 eggs, which are incubated for around 30 days. Mandarin ducks are considered to be a symbol of good luck and fidelity in East Asian cultures and are often featured in art and literature. They are also popular as ornamental birds in aviculture, and have been introduced to many other parts of the world as a result. However, their populations have been in decline due to habitat loss and hunting. The species is considered as least concerned according to the Yukon Red List. Spiders are a diverse group of arthropods that belong to the class Arachnida and the order Aranae. They are known for their eight legs, two body segments, the cephalothorax and the abdomen, and the presence of silk-producing glands. There are over 45,000 known species of spiders, which can be found in almost every habitat on Earth, from deserts to rainforests to the deep sea. Spiders are predatory animals that use their venomous fangs to capture and kill their prey, which can include insects, other spiders, and even small vertebrates. They spin webs to capture their prey, which are made of silk, a strong and stretchy protein that they produce in glands located in their abdomen. Not all spiders spin webs, some use different method of hunting like ground-dwelling spider, trapdoor spider, and etc. The reproductive behavior of spiders varies widely among species. Some spiders are solitary, while others live in colonies. Some reproduce sexually, with the male spider using specialized appendages, pedipalps, to transfer sperm to the female. Others reproduce asexually, via a process called parthenogenesis, in which the eggs develop without being fertilized. Spiders play an important role in controlling pests and maintaining ecosystem balance. However, some species of spiders can be venomous to humans and domestic animals, and a few can even cause serious medical issues. It's important to be cautious if you come across a wild spider, and should avoid handling them if you're not familiar with the species. Elk also known as wapiti, are large members of the deer family that are native to North America, Europe, and Asia. They are closely related to other members of the deer family such as moose, deer and caribou. Elk are known for their large size and impressive antlers, which are grown and shed annually. Adult male elk, or bulls, can reach up to 7 feet in length and weigh up to 600 to 800 pounds. The females, known as cows, are slightly smaller and can weigh up to 400 to 600 pounds. Elk have a reddish brown to dark brown coat in the summer, which turns grayish brown in the winter. The male elk has large antlers, which can reach up to 4 feet wide, and is used for attracting mates, defending territory and fighting off rivals. Elk are herbivores and feed mainly on grasses, leaves, bark, fruits and lichens. They are active throughout the day and night, and spend most of their time foraging for food. Elk are known for their vocalizations, particularly during mating season, where bull elk will be able to attract females and fend off other males. Elk are found in a wide range of habitats, from forests to meadows, and from mountainous areas to lowland prairies. They are migratory animals and will travel long distances in search of food and mating partners. Elk are considered to be a keystone species, which means they play an important role in their ecosystem by helping to maintain the balance of plant and animal populations. Elk population have been managed and hunted in many countries, but overall their population is considered as a good condition. Papio is a genus of Old World monkeys that includes five species, the olive baboon, Papio anubis, the yellow baboon, Papio sinocephalus, the chacma baboon, Papio ursinus, the hamadryas baboon, Papio hamadryas, and the guinea baboon, Papio papio. 
These monkeys are native to Africa and the Arabian Peninsula and are known for their distinctive long snouts, sharp teeth, and powerful jaws. Baboons are large primates, with adult males weighing up to 120 pounds and adult females weighing up to 80 pounds. They have thick, coarse fur that can range in color from light brown to black, and they have a mane of longer hair around their neck and shoulders. Male baboons have large, pronounced canines, which they use for fighting and displaying to potential mates. Baboons are omnivorous, meaning they eat a wide variety of food, including fruits, leaves, insects, and small mammals. They are primarily terrestrial and spend most of their time on the ground, but they are also able to climb trees and swim. They are highly social animals, living in large groups called troops that can number in the hundreds. These troops are led by dominant males, who defend the group's territory and resources. Baboons are known for their complex social behavior, including grooming, communication, and cooperation. They have a hierarchical social structure, with dominance hierarchies established among both males and females. They are also known for their intelligence and problem-solving abilities, and have been observed using tools in the wild. Overall, Papio baboons play an important ecological role in their native habitats and have been the subject of numerous studies in the fields of primate behavior, ecology and conservation. However, baboons are also considered as a pest in some area because they can cause damage to crops, and can carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans. An ostrich is a large flightless bird that is native to Africa. They are the largest living species of bird and can weigh up to 320 pounds and reach up to 9 feet in height. Ostriches have a distinctive long neck and legs, and a small head with a sharp beak. They are also known for their large eyes, which are the largest of any land animal. Ostriches are fast runners and can reach speeds of up to 45 miles per hour making them the fastest land bird. They are also able to swim and have been known to use this skill to escape predators. Ostriches are omnivores and eat a wide variety of plants and animals, including fruits, seeds, insects, and small mammals. Ostriches are highly social animals and live in groups called flocks. They are led by a dominant male, who is responsible for protecting the flock and mating with the females. Ostriches have a complex social hierarchy and communicate with each other through a variety of vocalizations, including hissing, booming, and whistling. Ostriches are known for their unique reproductive behavior. The male ostrich performs a courtship dance to attract a mate, and then both the male and female will take turns incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks. Ostriches are also known for their eggs, which are the largest of any bird species and can weigh up to 3 pounds. Ostriches have been historically hunted for their feathers, meat, and eggs, and their population has declined as a result. However, today, ostriches are raised on farms for their feathers, meat, and eggs, as well as for their skin, which is used to make leather products. Ostriches are also popular as exotic pets and have been trained for racing and other performance activities. The brown bear, Ursus arctos, is a large mammal that lives in various habitats across the northern hemisphere including North America, Europe, and Asia. The species is also known as the grizzly bear in North America and the Eurasian brown bear in Europe. They are one of the largest land-dwelling carnivores. Adult males can weigh over 600 pounds. Brown bears have a distinctive hump on their shoulders, which is made up of muscle used for digging and foraging. They also have a shaggy coat, which can be brown, blonde, or even black in color, and a large, dish-shaped face. They have large, sharp claws that are used for digging for food, climbing trees, and defending themselves. Brown bears are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. They eat a wide variety of foods, including berries, fruits, roots, fish, and small mammals. They are known to be opportunistic feeders, meaning they will eat whatever food is available to them. Brown bears are generally solitary animals, except during breeding season and when females are raising cubs. They hibernate during the winter, usually from October to May, and will not eat or drink during this time. Brown bears are considered as a threatened species by the Yukon, with populations have decreased due to habitat loss, hunting, and human development. Conservation efforts have been implemented to protect brown bears in their habitats, such as restrictions on hunting, habitat restoration, and education programs. Jellyfish, also known as medusa, are members of the phylum Nidaria. They are soft-bodied, 
translucent creatures that are found in oceans all over the world. They come in a variety of sizes, with some species growing up to six and a half feet in diameter. Jellyfish have a unique, umbrella-like body structure, which is composed of a bell-shaped body and long, trailing tentacles. The body is made up of a transparent, gelatinous substance called mesoglea, which gives the jellyfish its distinctive, translucent appearance. The tentacles contain stinging cells called nematocysts, which are used for defense and capturing prey. Jellyfish feed on small planktonic animals and fish eggs, which they capture with their tentacles. Some species are also known to feed on other jellyfish. The tentacles release their nematocysts to stun or paralyze the prey, which is then engulfed by the jellyfish's body and digested. Jellyfish reproduce by releasing eggs and sperm into the water, which then fertilize to form planula larvae. The planula attach themselves to a solid surface, where they develop into polyps. The polyps then produce new jellyfish through a process called budding. Jellyfish are known for their stunning, bioluminescent displays, which are produced by specialized cells called photocytes. These displays are used for communication, attracting prey, and deterring predators. Jellyfish are found in a variety of ocean habitats, including the open ocean, coastal waters, and coral reefs. They are most commonly found in warmer waters, but some species can tolerate colder temperatures. In recent years, jellyfish populations have been increasing in many areas due to a combination of factors, including overfishing, coastal development, and climate change. The increase in jellyfish populations can have negative impacts on fishing industries, as well as recreational activities, such as swimming and boating. Conservation efforts for jellyfish are focused on reducing the factors that contribute to their population increases, such as overfishing and coastal development. In addition, research is being conducted to understand the biology and behavior of jellyfish and to develop new methods for controlling their populations. Overall, jellyfish are unique, soft-bodied creatures that are found in oceans all over the world. They have a distinctive, umbrella-like body structure and long, trailing tentacles that contain stinging cells. They feed on small planktonic animals and are known for their stunning, bioluminescent displays. Jellyfish populations have been increasing in many areas due to a combination of factors, and conservation efforts are focused on reducing these factors and understanding the biology of these fascinating creatures. Clownfish, also known as anemone fish, are small, brightly colored fish that are native to the warm waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans. They are best known for their distinctive appearance and their symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. Clownfish have a round, laterally compressed body and a bright orange coloration with white stripes. They grow to a maximum length of about 4 inches. Males are typically larger than females and can change their size and coloration depending on their position in the social hierarchy. Clownfish live in close association with sea anemones, which provide them with protection from predators. The anemone's tentacles are lined with stinging cells called nematocysts, which can deter potential predators. In return, clownfish clean the anemones and provide them with food in the form of waste and leftover bits of food. Clownfish feed on small planktonic animals, as well as algae and other small food items. They have a unique digestive system that allows them to digest the nematocysts of their host anemone without being harmed. Clownfish are monogamous and form pairs that mate for life. The male guards the nest and the female lays the eggs, which are then fertilized by the male. The male guards the eggs until they hatch, at which point the larvae are released into the water. Clownfish play a critical role in their ecosystem, as they help to maintain the health and stability of the coral reefs on which they live. They also play an important role in the reef food chain, as they are preyed upon by a variety of larger predators, including larger fish, sea turtles, and birds. Clownfish have become popular in the pet trade due to their bright colors and unique behavior. However, capturing wild clownfish for the aquarium trade can have negative impacts on their populations and on the coral reefs where they live. Conservation efforts for clownfish are focused on protecting and restoring their coral reef habitats, as well as reducing the impacts of the aquarium trade. In addition, research is being conducted to better understand the biology and behavior of clownfish, as well as to develop new methods for captive breeding and cultivation. Overall, clownfish are small, brightly colored fish that are best known for their association with sea anemones. 
They are found in the warm waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans and play a critical role in their ecosystem by helping to maintain the health of the coral reefs on which they live. They are popular in the pet trade but it is important to only purchase clownfish from sustainable sources. Conservation efforts are focused on protecting and restoring their coral reef habitats and reducing the impacts of the aquarium trade. Pangolins are a group of eight species of nocturnal, and teeter-like mammals found in Africa and Asia. They are known for their distinctive appearance, with tough, scaly armor that protects them from predators, and their ability to curl up into a tight ball when threatened. Pangolins are the only mammals known to have this type of protective armor. Pangolins have long, sticky tongues that they use to feed on ants and termites, and they have powerful, clawed front legs that they use to dig into ant and termite mounds to find their food. They are also excellent climbers and are able to use their tail to balance and support themselves as they climb trees in search of food. Pangolins are solitary animals, and they are most active at night. During the day, they rest in tree hollows or burrows. They are able to produce a potent, foul-smelling secretion from glands near their anus that they use to deter predators. All eight species of pangolin are under threat from poaching and habitat loss, as well as illegal hunting for their meat and scales. Pangolin meat is considered a delicacy in some parts of the world, and pangolin scales are used in traditional medicine and as a luxury item in some cultures. The high demand for pangolin products has led to significant declines in pangolin populations, and several species are now listed as critically endangered. Conservation efforts for pangolins are focused on reducing the demand for their products, protecting their habitats, and reducing their exploitation through law enforcement and education. In addition, breeding programs have been established in zoos to ensure the survival of captive populations of pangolins, and researchers are working to better understand the biology and behavior of these unique mammals. Overall, pangolins are nocturnal, and teeter-like mammals that are known for their tough, scaly armor and their ability to curl up into a tight ball when threatened. They are found in Africa and Asia and feed on ants and termites. All eight species of pangolin are under threat from hunting and habitat loss, and conservation efforts are focused on reducing demand for their products, protecting their habitats, and increasing our understanding of their biology and behavior. With continued efforts, it is possible to ensure the survival of these unique and fascinating creatures for future generations to enjoy. Gibbons are a group of primates that belong to the family Hylobatidae and are known for their agility, speed, and distinctive vocalizations. They are found in the rainforests of Southeast Asia and are known for their swinging, brachiation movement through the trees. Gibbons have long arms and short legs, which allows them to move through the forest canopy with ease. They have opposable thumbs, which help them grasp onto branches and other objects, and their hands and feet are equipped with highly specialized grip pads that allow them to hang from branches without slipping. Gibbons are generally arboreal, meaning they live in trees, and they are known for their social behavior. Gibbon families are typically made up of a mated pair and their offspring, and they live in close-knit groups, communicating with each other through complex vocalizations. Gibbons are also territorial and use their vocalizations to defend their territories against other gibbons. Gibbons are omnivores, feeding on a variety of plant and animal matter, including leaves, fruits, flowers, insects, and small vertebrates. They have a high metabolism and must feed frequently throughout the day to maintain their energy levels. There are several species of gibbons, including the white-handed gibbon, the lar gibbon, the siamang, and the hula gibbon, among others. Each species has its own distinctive vocalizations and physical characteristics, and some species are more endangered than others. The main threat to gibbons is habitat loss due to deforestation and land conversion for agriculture and development. Gibbons are also hunted for their meat and captured for the pet trade. In addition, the pet trade has led to the capture and removal of thousands of young gibbons from their natural habitats, which has contributed to declines in their populations. Conservation efforts for gibbons are focused on protecting their habitats and reducing their exploitation through law enforcement, education, and breeding programs in zoos. In addition, researchers are working to better understand the biology and behavior of these primates, including their vocalizations, social behavior, and ecology. Overall, gibbons are a group of primates known for their agility, speed, and complex vocalizations. They are found in the rainforests of Southeast Asia and are threatened by habitat loss, 
hunting, and capture for the pet trade. With continued conservation efforts, it is possible to ensure the survival of these fascinating primates in their unique and important role in the forest ecosystem. Flying rays, also known as manta rays, are a species of rays that belong to the family Mobulidae and are known for their unique shape, large size, and graceful movements through the water. They are found in tropical and subtropical oceans around the world and are known for their impressive size, with some individuals reaching up to 23 feet in wingspan. Flying rays have a distinctive diamond-shaped body, with long, broad wings that are used for swimming and for gliding through the water. They are known for their powerful swimming abilities, using their wings to generate lift and move through the water with ease. Flying rays also have a highly specialized mouth that is located on the underside of their body, which they use to feed on plankton and small fish. Flying rays are generally solitary animals, but they are also known to aggregate in large groups for feeding, mating, and other activities. They are also known for their intelligence, and some researchers believe that they may be capable of exhibiting advanced behaviors such as problem solving and communication. The main threat to flying rays is overfishing, as they are hunted for their meat and fins, which are highly valued in the Asian market. Flying rays are also vulnerable to accidental capture in fishing gear, and their populations have declined dramatically in some regions as a result. In addition, habitat loss, pollution, and climate change are also major threats to flying rays and their ecosystems. Conservation efforts for flying rays are focused on reducing their exploitation and protecting their habitats. This includes the regulation of fishing activities, the protection of critical habitats, and the development of sustainable fishing practices. In addition, researchers are working to better understand the biology and behavior of flying rays, including their migration patterns, social behavior, and ecological roles. Overall, flying rays are a species of rays known for their unique shape, large size, and graceful movements through the water. They are found in tropical and subtropical oceans around the world and are threatened by overfishing, habitat loss, pollution, and climate change. With continued conservation efforts, it is possible to ensure the survival of these magnificent animals and their important role in the marine ecosystem. Pelicanus is a genus of large water birds that belongs to the family Pelicanidae. They are commonly known as pelicans and are found on every continent except Antarctica. The most recognizable species of pelican is the American white pelican, which is known for its large bill pouch that it uses to scoop up fish from the water. Pelicans are large birds, with wingspans that can reach up to 10 feet. They have a distinctive long bill, and a large throat pouch that can hold up to 3 gallons of water. The pouch is used to scoop up fish and other aquatic prey which is then strained through the bill to remove water before the pelican swallows its meal. Pelicans are social birds and are typically found in large colonies near bodies of water. They are strong flyers and are able to glide for long periods of time on thermals. They are also able to swim well and can dive to depths of up to 30 feet to catch fish. Pelicans have a variety of different breeding behaviors, but most build large nests on the ground or in trees near water. They lay one to four eggs and both parents take turns incubating them. The chicks are born with a white downy feather and will fledge after about two months. Pelicans face threats from habitat loss, pollution, and overfishing which can reduce the availability of food. Many species are also hunted for their feathers, which are used for traditional clothing and ceremonial purposes. Conservation efforts have been implemented in some areas to protect pelican populations, including protection of breeding and feeding areas, and restrictions on hunting. Flamingos, also known as phenicopterity, are a family of wading birds that are native to tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas, Africa, and Europe. They are known for their distinctive pink or orange plumage, which is caused by the pigments found in the algae and crustaceans that make up a large part of their diet. Flamingos have long legs and necks, and stand up to 4 to 5 feet tall. They have webbed feet, which are adapted for wading in shallow water, and long, curved beaks that are used to filter food from the water. Flamingos are social animals and live in large colonies. They breed in colonies that can number in the thousands, and both parents take turns incubating the eggs and caring for the chicks. Flamingos are considered near-threatened by the you can do to habitat destruction and pollution. 
Populations have been also impacted by hunting and collection of eggs and chicks. Flamingos are popular in the zoological garden and ornamental bird trade. They are also frequently used as symbols of the tropics and exotic locations. Crows are a group of birds that belong to the genus Corvus and the family Corvidae. They are found on every continent except Antarctica, and are known for their intelligence and adaptability. Crows are generally black in color, but some species may have a glossy purple or green sheen on their feathers. They have a characteristic cawing call and are omnivorous, feeding on a wide variety of food including fruits, insects, and small animals. They are also known for their problem-solving abilities, tool use, and ability to recognize individual humans. Crows are also known for their intelligence and adaptability. They can be found in a wide variety of habitats, from urban areas to forests, and have been known to form complex social structures. Some species of crows are known to form large communal roosts, while others are solitary. Crows are also known to form long-term relationships, with some crows even mourning the loss of their partners. Some species of crows have also been observed engaging in play, and are known to use tools to solve problems. Crows are considered a pest in some areas due to their large populations and tendency to damage crops, but they also have a beneficial impact on the ecosystem by controlling pests and spreading seeds of certain plants. However, it should be noted that the term crow is often used to describe the common crow species, the American crow, Corvus brarianchos, and not all the species of Corvus genus. Camels are mammals that belong to the family Camelidae, which also includes llamas, alpacas, and vicunas. They are known for their ability to survive in harsh desert conditions, and are most commonly found in the Middle East and North Africa. Camels are characterized by their long necks, humps on their backs, and large, padded feet that allow them to move easily across the desert sands. There are two species of camels, the dromedary camel and the Bactrian camel. Dromedary camels have one hump on their back, while Bactrian camels have two. The humps on camels are not filled with water, as is commonly believed, but rather with fat, which the camel can metabolize when food and water are scarce. Camels are able to go for long periods of time without drinking, as they can store water in their bodies and can tolerate high temperatures. Camels are herbivores, and eat a variety of plants, including grasses, shrubs, and cacti. They are able to chew tough plant matter thanks to their large, tough mouths and thick tongues. Camels are also known for their stamina and can travel long distances without tiring. Historically, camels have been used for transportation, as well as for carrying goods across the desert. Today, they are still used for transportation in some parts of the world, and are also used for racing and as a source of meat and milk. Camels are social animals and are often seen in groups, known as herds. They communicate with each other through a variety of vocalizations and body language. Camels have a lifespan of around 50 years in the wild. They are facing a huge pressure in the wild due to human activities such as hunting, habitat loss, and overgrazing. A seal is a marine mammal that belongs to the family Phocidae. There are over 30 species of seals, which vary in size, shape, and habitat. Seals are found in oceans all over the world, and can be found on the shores of the Arctic, Antarctic, and temperate regions. Seals have a streamlined body shape that helps them to be excellent swimmers. They have a thick layer of blubber to keep them warm in the cold ocean water, and webbed feet that help them to swim quickly and efficiently. Their front flippers are used for propulsion in the water, and their hind flippers are used for steering. They can hold their breath for a long time and can dive deep in the ocean. Seals are carnivores and eat a variety of fish, squid, and crustaceans. They are preyed upon by larger marine animals such as sharks and killer whales. Seals are social animals and congregate in large groups on land and in the water. They communicate with each other through vocalizations, body language, and scent marking. Seals have a unique breeding system. Males will establish territories on land and defend them against other males during the breeding season. Female seals give birth to one to several pups, which are born with a thick layer of blubber and fur. Some species of seals are facing habitat loss and overhunting, and some of them are endangered. Conservation efforts include protecting their breeding and feeding habitats, regulating hunting, 
and monitoring populations. Cats, also known as domestic cats or felines, are small carnivorous mammals that have been kept as pets for thousands of years. They are believed to have been domesticated from the wildcat, a small, solitary predator found in many parts of the world. Cats are known for their agility, hunting skills, and playful personalities. They have soft fur, retractable claws, and sharp teeth and are able to move quietly and quickly. Cats come in a wide variety of breeds, each with their own unique characteristics and features. For example, Siamese cats are known for their distinctive blue eyes and pointed coat, while Maine Coons are known for their large size and fluffy fur. Cats are known for being low-maintenance pets, as they are independent animals that do not require as much attention as dogs. They are also known for being clean animals, as they groom themselves regularly. They have a strong territorial instinct, and will often mark their territory by spraying urine. This behavior can be reduced or eliminated through neutering or spaying. Cats are also known for their hunting skills, and will often bring their owners small gifts such as mice or birds. However, this behavior can be discouraged through training or by providing the cat with toys to satisfy its hunting instincts. Overall, cats make great companions for people of all ages and lifestyles. They are low maintenance, independent, and playful animals that can provide companionship and entertainment for years to come. Polar bears are large carnivorous mammals that are native to the Arctic regions of the world, including Canada, Alaska, Russia, Greenland, and Norway. They are the largest land predator and the largest bear species, with males typically weighing between 600 and 1,200 pounds and females weighing around half as much. They are well adapted for life in the Arctic, with thick insulating fur that keeps them warm in the cold temperatures and a layer of blubber that provides additional insulation and energy reserves. Polar bears are apex predators and their diet mainly consists of seals, which they catch by wading at breathing holes in the sea ice or stalking seals on the ice. Polar bears are considered a vulnerable species due to habitat loss caused by climate change, which is causing sea ice to melt at an alarming rate. They are also affected by pollution, hunting and human interactions. Polar bears have a life expectancy of 20 to 30 years in the wild. They are solitary animals, except during mating season and when mothers are raising cubs. Female polar bears give birth to cubs in dens made of snow, they are blind and weigh less than a pound at birth. They nurse on their mother's milk for about two and a half years, and stay with their mother for about two and a half to four years. It is important to be aware of the conservation status of polar bears and to be aware of the impact of human activities on their habitat and population. Rhinos are large, herbivorous mammals that are found in various regions of Africa and Asia. There are five different species of rhinos, including the white rhino, black rhino, Indian rhino, Javan rhino, and Sumatran rhino. Rhinos are known for their distinctive horn, which is made of keratin, the same material as human hair and nails. The horn is highly valued in some cultures for its supposed medicinal properties, which has led to poaching of rhinos for their horns. White rhinos are the largest rhino species and can weigh up to 2,300 kilograms. They are found in grasslands and savannas of South Africa, Namibia, Zimbabwe, and Kenya. White rhinos are considered to be a near-threatened species due to poaching and habitat loss. Black rhinos are smaller than white rhinos and can weigh up to 1,400 kilograms. They are found in a variety of habitats, including savannas, deserts, and forests in Africa. Black rhinos are considered to be a critically endangered species due to poaching and habitat loss. Indian rhinos are found in the grasslands and wetlands of India and Nepal. They are considered to be a vulnerable species due to habitat loss and poaching. Javan and Sumatran rhinos are considered to be the most endangered rhino species, with only a few hundred individuals remaining in the wild. They are found in the rainforests of Indonesia and Malaysia. All rhino species are protected by law, but illegal poaching remains a major threat to their survival, 
Conservation efforts are ongoing to protect rhinos from poaching and habitat loss, including anti-poaching patrols, horn trade regulation and habitat protection. The polar fox, also known as the Arctic fox, is a small fox that is native to the Arctic regions of the world, including Canada, Alaska, Russia, Greenland, and Norway. They are well adapted to life in the Arctic, with thick, insulating fur that keeps them warm in the cold temperatures. Polar foxes have a distinctive white coat that helps them blend in with their snowy surroundings. They also have a short, round body shape and short ears and legs to minimize heat loss. Polar foxes are opportunistic predators and opportunistic eaters, which means that they will eat whatever food is available, including lemmings, fish, crustaceans, sea birds and their eggs, as well as berries and seaweed. They are also known to scavenge on carrion. During the summer months, the coat of the fox turns to a reddish-brown color that blends in with the tundra. Polar foxes live in family groups and their dens are usually located in rocky outcroppings, and in the summer months, they are found on the tundra. They are not considered to be a threatened species, and their populations are considered to be stable. The arctic fox is an important species in many arctic cultures, and it is hunted for its fur and meat. Some indigenous cultures see the arctic fox as a symbol of adaptability, resourcefulness, and cunning. Kingfishers are small to medium-sized birds that belong to the family Alcedonidae. They are found in many parts of the world, including Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. They are known for their bright colors and large heads, as well as their distinctive, elongated bills. Kingfishers are usually found near water bodies, they feed on fish and other aquatic animals, insects, and amphibians. They are adapted for hunting by diving into the water from a perch, or by hovering over the water's surface, and then diving to catch their prey. Kingfishers are generally diurnal, and most species are brightly colored, with blue and green being the most common colors. Different species have different breeding behaviors and habitat preferences, some species are migratory while others are resident. Some species prefer fresh water while others prefer coastal environments. Kingfishers are not considered to be a threatened species, but some populations are declining due to habitat loss and pollution. Some species are protected by law, and conservation efforts are ongoing to protect kingfishers and their habitats. Kingfishers are important species in many cultures and they are often featured in art and mythology. They are also popular as aviary birds and some species are kept as pets. Penguins are flightless birds that are found primarily in the southern hemisphere, although Galapagos penguins are found near the equator. They are well adapted to life in the water, with streamlined bodies and flippers that enable them to swim efficiently. They also have dense plumage that provides insulation in cold water. Penguins come in a range of sizes, from the tiny little penguin, which stands around 40 centimeters tall, to the emperor penguin, which can be up to 1.2 meters tall. They are also known for their distinctive black and white plumage, which helps them blend in with their surroundings while swimming and makes it difficult for predators to spot them from above and below. Penguins are social birds and they live in colonies. They are known for their unique vocalizations and displays, which they use to communicate with one another and attract mates. Penguins are primarily fish and krill eaters, and they spend most of their lives in the water. They are able to swim at high speeds and dive to great depths to catch their prey. They are also known for their unique huddling behavior, which helps them stay warm in cold temperatures. Penguins are now considered to be threatened globally, but some populations are declining due to habitat loss, pollution, and overfishing. Conservation efforts are ongoing to protect penguins and their habitats. Raccoons, also known as Procyon loader, are medium-sized mammals native to North America. They are found throughout most of the United States, Canada, and Mexico, as well as parts of Central America and Europe, where they have been introduced. Raccoons have distinctive black and white facial markings, and a thick, bushy tail with black and white rings. They typically weigh between 5 and 20 kilograms, 11 to 44 pounds, and measure between 40 and 70 centimeters, 16 to 28 inches, in length, with a tail that can be 20 to 40 centimeters, 8 to 16 inches, long. Raccoons are opportunistic and omnivorous, eating a wide variety of foods such as fruits, berries, nuts, insects, fish, crustaceans, small mammals, and birds. They are known for their intelligence and their ability to problem-solve and adapt to new environments. 
they are also known for their curiosity and their ability to exploit human provided food sources, which sometimes leads them to become pests in urban and suburban areas. Raccoons are nocturnal animals and they are known carriers of some diseases like rabies, leptospirosis, and raccoon roundworm. They are hunted for their fur, which is used in clothing and other items, and for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in some cultures. It is important to note that it is illegal to keep raccoons as pets in many places. If you see a raccoon, it is best to keep your distance and not to feed them, as it can cause them to lose their fear of humans and become dependent on human food which can cause them to become aggressive or malnourished. Squids, also known as octopi, are a group of cephalopod mollusks that are found in oceans all over the world. They are known for their intelligence and their ability to change color and texture to blend in with their surroundings. Squids have a soft body and eight flexible arms, each of which is lined with rows of suckers that they use to grasp prey and move around. Squids are solitary animals and typically only come together to mate. They are also known for their exceptional problem-solving abilities and their ability to learn through experience. They are also known for their ability to manipulate objects with their arms, and some species can even open jars and unscrew lids. Squids are carnivorous and will eat a wide variety of prey including crustaceans, mollusks, and fish. They hunt by either stalking their prey or lying in wait for it to come to them. They are also known for their ability to squirt ink as a defensive mechanism. Squids come in a wide variety of sizes and colors, and can be found in a wide variety of ocean habitats, from shallow coral reefs to the deep sea. Some species are benthic, meaning they live on the ocean floor, while others are pelagic, meaning they live in the open ocean. Squids are also known for their ability to regenerate lost arms, and in some species, a lost arm can regrow in as little as a month. However, this ability comes at a cost as it is energetically expensive for the squids. Squid is considered as a delicacy in some cultures, but their populations are threatened by overfishing, pollution, and habitat destruction. Additionally, their hunting and fishing have been regulated in many countries, Cobras are a group of venomous snakes that are found in tropical and subtropical regions throughout the world. They are known for their distinctive huds and their ability to raise the front of their bodies off the ground when threatened. There are several different species of cobra, including the Egyptian cobra, the Indian cobra, and the king cobra. They vary in size and color, but all cobras have a potent neurotoxic venom that can cause severe symptoms, including paralysis and death. Cobras are solitary animals and are active during the day. They are primarily terrestrial and are found in a wide variety of habitats, including forests, deserts, and grasslands. They are opportunistic hunters and will eat a wide variety of prey, including rodents, lizards, and other snakes. Cobras are known for their aggressive behavior when threatened and will often raise the front of their bodies off the ground and spread their hoods in an attempt to intimidate predators or perceived threats. They will also bite and inject venom as a form of self-defense. Cobras are considered to be a significant threat to humans due to their venomous bite and are responsible for many deaths each year in areas where they are found. They are also hunted for their venom, which is used in traditional medicine, and for their skin, which is used for leather. Cobras are protected by law in many countries and their hunting and trade are regulated. This is important to maintain the population of the cobras and also to protect humans from the venomous bites. Gorillas are a group of large primates that are found in the forests of Central and Western Africa. They are the largest living primates and are known for their intelligence and their close genetic relationship to humans. There are two species of gorillas, the Eastern Gorilla and the Western Gorilla, and within each species, there are subspecies. Eastern Gorillas are divided into two subspecies, the Eastern Lowland Gorilla and the Mountain Gorilla. Western Gorillas are divided into two subspecies, the Western Lowland Gorilla and the Cross River Gorilla. Gorillas are social animals and live in groups called troops, which can range in size from a few individuals to over 30. The group is led by a dominant male, known as a silverback, who is responsible for protecting the group and making decisions. Gorillas are herbivores and primarily eat leaves, fruit, and stems. They are also known to occasionally eat insects and other small animals. They spend most of their day foraging for food, and they rest and sleep in the nest they build each night. 
Gorillas are threatened by habitat destruction and poaching, and their populations have declined rapidly in recent years. They are protected by law and are listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Gorillas are studied extensively in the wild and in captivity, and researchers have learned much about their behavior, communication, and social structure. They are also used in medical research and have been used to develop vaccines and treatments for diseases such as HIV. Chameleonidae is a family of lizards that are found in tropical and subtropical regions throughout the world. They are known for their ability to change color and for their prehensile tongues and grasping feet. Chameleons are divided into two subfamilies, the true chameleons and the dwarf chameleons. True chameleons are typically larger, have longer tongues and grasping feet and are found in Africa and Madagascar. Dwarf chameleons are typically smaller and are found in Madagascar and some parts of Africa and Asia. Chameleons are arboreal animals and are known for their ability to climb and move quickly through the trees. Their grasping feet and tails allow them to grip branches securely. They have independently mobile eyes which help them to have a 360 degree vision and also to catch prey with precision. Chameleons are carnivores and will eat a wide variety of prey, including insects, spiders, and small lizards. Their long tongues, which can be up to twice the length of their body, are used to capture prey. Chameleons have the ability to change color, which is used for camouflage, communication, and thermoregulation. They are also known for their ability to rotate their eyes independently of each other, which allows them to have a panoramic view of their surroundings. Chameleons are popular as pets, but also are threatened by habitat destruction and overcollection for the pet trade. Many species are listed as vulnerable or endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Kangaroos are marsupials that are native to Australia. They are known for their distinctive hopping gait and for carrying their young in a pouch. They are the largest marsupial and the national symbol of Australia. There are four species of kangaroos, the eastern grey kangaroo, western grey kangaroo, red kangaroo and the antilopine kangaroo. Eastern grey and western grey kangaroos are the most common and are found throughout eastern and southern Australia respectively. The red kangaroo is the largest marsupial and is found in the arid and semi-arid regions of central and western Australia. Antilopine kangaroo is found in the tropical savanna of northern Australia. Kangaroos are herbivores and primarily eat grass. They are most active during the cooler parts of the day, such as dawn and dusk. They are gregarious and typically live in groups called mobs or troops. Kangaroos are known for their unique method of locomotion, which is accomplished by hopping on their powerful hind legs. They can reach high speeds of up to 50 km per hour, 30 miles per hour, and can jump up to 9 meters, 30 feet, in one leap. Kangaroos are considered a national symbol of Australia and are featured on the country's coat of arms and on some of its currency. While they are not considered endangered, some populations have been affected by habitat destruction and hunting. They are also the subject of ongoing management efforts in some areas where their population density conflicts with human land use. Koalas are marsupials that are native to Australia. They are known for their fuzzy ears, round noses, and sleepy demeanor and for their diet of eucalyptus leaves. They are one of the most iconic animals of Australia. Koalas are arboreal animals that are found in eucalyptus forests along the eastern and southeastern coast of Australia. They are nocturnal and spend most of the day sleeping in trees. They have specialized adaptations that allow them to survive on a diet of eucalyptus leaves, which are toxic to most other animals. Koalas have thick, grey fur that helps to keep them cool during the hot Australian summers. They have large ears that are covered in fur and can be used for communication and thermoregulation. They also have large, sharp claws that are used for climbing and grasping eucalyptus branches. Koalas are solitary animals and typically only come into contact with others during the mating season. Males have a distinctive scent gland on their chest that is used to mark their territory and attract females. Koalas are not considered to be endangered, but their populations have declined in recent years due to habitat destruction, disease and bushfires. They are also affected by human activities, including urbanization and fragmentation of habitats. Conservation efforts are underway to protect koalas and their habitats, 
and they are protected by law in Australia. Hyenas are a group of carnivorous mammals that are native to Africa and Asia. They are known for their distinctive appearance, which includes a mane of hair on the back of the neck and a body shape that is similar to that of a dog. There are four species of hyena, the spotted hyena, the striped hyena, the brown hyena, and the argol. The most common and well-known species is the spotted hyena, which is found throughout most of sub-Saharan Africa. They are known for their distinctive coat, which is covered in dark spots. Hyenas are social animals and live in groups called clans. These clans can range in size from just a few individuals to over 100 animals. The hyena clan is led by a dominant female, known as the matriarch. The clan is organized into a hierarchical social structure, with the matriarch at the top, followed by the other adult females, and then the adult males. Hyenas are opportunistic feeders and will eat a wide variety of prey. They primarily feed on ungulates, such as zebras, wildebeest, and antelopes, but will also eat smaller mammals, birds, reptiles, and insects. They are also known to scavenge on the kills of other predators, such as lions and leopards. Hyenas are known for their distinctive vocalizations, which include whoops, cackles, and giggles. These vocalizations are used for a variety of purposes, including communication within the clan, communication between different clans, and communication with other animals. Hyenas are also known for their powerful jaws and teeth. They have the strongest bite relative to body size of any mammal, and are able to crush bones with ease. This allows them to extract the nutritious bone marrow from the bones of their prey. Hyenas have a reputation for being ruthless and cunning animals, but recent research has shown that they are actually highly intelligent and have a complex social structure. They are also known for their strong sense of family and loyalty to their clan. In conclusion, hyenas are a group of carnivorous mammals that are native to Africa and Asia, with four species. They are known for their distinctive appearance, social behavior, opportunistic feeder, vocalizations, powerful jaws and teeth and having a reputation for being ruthless and cunning animals. The parrot is a brightly colored bird found in tropical and subtropical regions around the world. There are over 300 different species of parrots, also known as cytosines, which belong to the order Cytisiformes. They are known for their distinctive curved beaks, and many species have the ability to mimic human speech and other sounds. Parrots come in a wide variety of sizes, from the small and brightly colored budger dog, also known as the budgie, to the large and majestic macaws. Parrots are intelligent and social animals, and many species form strong bonds with their mates. They are also known for their playful nature and their ability to learn tricks and solve problems. In the wild, parrots live in large flocks and typically nest in tree hollows. They are omnivorous, with a diet that includes fruit, nuts, seeds, and sometimes insects and other small animals. Many parrot species are threatened or endangered due to habitat loss in the pet trade. In addition, many parrots are captured from the wild to be sold as pets. While they can make great companion animals, parrots require a lot of care and attention, and are not suitable for everyone. They can live for many years, some species up to 50 to 80 years. They need a special diet, a lot of space, and a lot of stimulation. Due to their intelligence, parrots are popular as companion animals. They are often kept in captivity and trained to mimic human speech, and some species can learn to understand basic human commands. Some parrots are also used in therapy settings to help people with special needs, such as children with autism or the elderly with dementia. Due to their beauty, many parrots are popular subject in art and culture. They are depicted in various forms of art, from painting to sculptures. Parrots are unique, intelligent, and beautiful animals that have fascinated people for centuries. However, owning a parrot is a big responsibility that requires a lot of time, effort, and money, so it is important to carefully consider whether you are ready for the commitment before bringing one into your home. Porcupines are large rodents found in various habitats around the world, including North America, South America, and Africa. They are known for their distinctive spines or quills which are actually modified hairs that are stiffened by keratin, the same protein that makes up human hair and nails. Porcupines use their quills as a defense mechanism against predators, and can release them when threatened. The body of a porcupine is covered in short, dense fur, which varies in color depending on the species. They have small eyes and ears, 
and a long, thick tail. They have small, sharp claws on their front paws, which they use for climbing and digging. Porcupines are herbivores, and their diet primarily consists of tree bark, leaves, and twigs. They have strong teeth and jaws, which allow them to gnaw through the tough bark of trees. They are also known to eat fruits, berries, and nuts when available. Porcupines are generally solitary animals, except during the mating season. They are active at night and spend most of their time in trees or rocky outcroppings. They are excellent climbers, and their sharp claws allow them to climb vertical surfaces with ease. Porcupines are slow-moving animals, which makes them vulnerable to predators such as bears, coyotes, and mountain lions. However, their quills make them very difficult to approach and attack. In some parts of the world, porcupines are hunted for their meat and quills, which are used for traditional medicine and decorative purposes. However, hunting and habitat destruction have led to population declines in some areas. Turtles are a group of reptiles that belong to the order Testudines. They are characterized by their bony shells, which protect their bodies and provide support for their limbs. Turtles can be found in a wide range of habitats, including freshwater, saltwater, and terrestrial environments. They are found on every continent except Antarctica. There are two main types of turtles, terrestrial and aquatic. Terrestrial turtles, such as box turtles and tortoises, spend most of their time on land, while aquatic turtles, such as sea turtles and freshwater turtles, spend most of their time in the water. Turtles are cold-blooded animals, which means that their body temperature is regulated by the environment. They also have a slow metabolism, which allows them to survive in areas with limited food resources. Turtles are considered to be long-lived animals. Some species, such as the Galapagos tortoise, can live for over 100 years. Turtles are also known for their unique reproductive strategies. Most species of turtles bury their eggs in the ground or leave them in a nest on the beach. The eggs hatch in a few weeks, and the young turtles are on their own from the moment they hatch. Some species of turtles, such as sea turtles, have a high rate of egg and hatchling mortality due to predation, habitat loss, and human activities. Turtles are an important part of many ecosystems, serving as both predators and prey. They also play a role in sea dispersal and the maintenance of aquatic habitats. Due to human activities such as habitat destruction, pollution, and hunting, many turtle species are now considered to be endangered. Geese are a type of waterfowl that belong to the family Anatidae, which also includes ducks and swans. They are found all over the world and are known for their distinctive honking call, as well as their webbed feet and broad, flat beaks. Geese are migratory birds, which means that they travel long distances between their breeding and wintering grounds. They are typically found in the northern hemisphere, with some species breeding as far north as the Arctic Circle. The migration of geese can be quite spectacular, with large flocks of birds flying in V-shaped formations. There are several different species of geese, each with their own unique characteristics. Some of the most common species include the Canada goose, the Greylag goose, and the Barnacle goose. The Canada goose is one of the most well-known species of geese and is found throughout North America. They are large birds, with a wingspan of up to 6 feet, and have a distinctive black head and neck, with a white chin strap. They are known for their loud honking call, which can be heard from a long distance away. The Greylag goose is a large species of goose that is found in Europe, Asia, and North America. They are similar in size to the Canada goose and have a similar plumage, but have a reddish-orange bill and legs. They are known for their loud honking call, which is similar to that of the Canada goose. The barnacle goose is a small species of goose that is found in the Arctic and subarctic regions of Europe, Asia, and North America. They have a distinctive white face and black head and neck, and are known for their noisy honking call. They are also known to be quite aggressive during the breeding season, when they will defend their nests and young from predators. Geese are herbivorous and will feed on a wide variety of plant material, including grasses, grains, and aquatic plants. They are also known to eat small invertebrates and fish, particularly when they are in the non-breeding season. Geese typically mate for life and will form large colonies during the breeding season. The female will lay a clutch of two to eight eggs, which are incubated by both the male and female. Once the eggs hatch, the goslings are cared for by both parents and will remain with them until they are fully grown. 
Geese are known to be very protective of their young and will aggressively defend their nests and goslings from predators. They are also known to be very vocal and will use their loud honking call to warn of potential danger. Geese are considered to be a valuable resource by many cultures and have been domesticated for thousands of years. They have been used for their eggs, meat, and feathers, as well as for their ability to control pests such as insects and weeds. They are also used as hunting game and used as watchdogs. In recent years, geese have become a problem in some urban areas, where their droppings can create sanitation problems and their nests can block stormwater drains. In these areas, geese management programs have been implemented to reduce their populations and minimize the negative impact they have on the environment. Overall, geese are fascinating birds that are known for their distinctive honking call, their migratory habits, and their protective nature. They are an important part of many ecosystems and have played an important role in human culture for thousands of years. Turkey is a large bird that is typically roasted and served as a main dish for holidays such as Thanksgiving and Christmas in the United States and Canada, and for Christmas and Easter in many European countries. The turkey is a domesticated bird that is native to North America and is a close relative of the wild turkey, which is found in the same region. Turkeys are large birds, with males, also known as gobblers or tongs, typically weighing between 15 and 30 pounds, while females, also known as hens, weigh between 10 and 20 pounds. They have a distinctive appearance, with a large, plump body, a long neck, and a small head with a bare, fleshy head and snoot. They have a distinctive plumage, with males having a iridescent feathers on the breast, head and tail. Turkeys are omnivorous and will eat a wide variety of foods, including seeds, berries, insects, and small animals. In domesticated turkeys, they are typically raised on commercial turkey feed, which is formulated to provide all the necessary nutrients for growth and health. Turkeys are social animals and form flocks in the wild. They are known for their distinctive vocalizations, including the gobbling sound made by males, which is why they are known as gobblers. In terms of breeding, turkeys are seasonal breeders, and the breeding season begins in the late winter or early spring. The females lay a clutch of eggs, which are incubated for about 28 days. The chicks are cared for by the mother, and are able to fly and forage for food within a few weeks of hatching. Domesticated turkeys are raised on farms for their meat, which is considered to be a leaner and healthier alternative to other types of red meat. Turkey meat is also a good source of protein, B vitamins, and minerals such as phosphorus and potassium. In addition to being raised for meat, turkeys are also used in the production of various other products such as eggs, feathers, and manure. They are also raised for hunting and as pets. Overall, turkey is an important agricultural product, and an integral part of many cultural cuisines and holiday traditions. It is a versatile, delicious and nutritious food source that continues to be enjoyed by people.